Hello and welcome to Meet Week on Brian Spann. We open with some scenes from last month's Operation Skyfall in Georgia. Staff Sergeant Vanessa Hernandez from 55th Combat Camera brought back these images. Also this week, the Fort Meade eight-year-old plays a big role this Easter. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month and some news from the Freedom Inn. All these stories and more, but first, April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Last week, the Fort Meade Sexual Harassment and Assault Prevention Program, or SHARP, hosted this month's observance with a presentation by the Adjutant General of Maryland, Major General Linda Singh. General Singh's presentation was very personal, relating experiences suffered as a child, a junior enlisted troop, and even as a commanding officer. I made a decision at that point in time that I was not going to wait until I take off the uniform and have this conversation. If I made a general officer when I came back, which I knew my packet was already in, I said, from this day forward, I will be transparent about the things that's happened to me and about my past. Because I think that there are people out there that will maybe stand with me, that will maybe be with me, that will maybe stand up and say, for our society, for our children, for our wives, our husbands, and our friends, and enough is enough. Fort Meade's Army Community Service is sponsoring a series of events throughout the month. For more, go to www.ftmeadmwr.com slash ACS slash sexual assault. Meanwhile, here's a message from the Army on victim advocacy. No one is ever going to believe me. I was told to never complain or I'd ruin my career. They're going to blame me. They're going to blame me. No one is ever going to believe me. I feel so alone. I feel so alone. I'm here for you. If you've been a victim of sexual assault, you are not alone. The Army is here for you. In other news, in a tradition that dates back to 1878, hundreds of kids from across the country are at the White House this Easter Monday for the annual Easter Egg Roll. Recently, First Lady Michelle Obama chose two winning entries for the 2015 White House Easter Egg Roll Design Contest. One of those belongs to Fort Meade's Haley Nesloni, the eight-year-old daughter of Air Force Captain Timothy and Lauren Nesloni, her entry is serving as this year's souvenir program cover. We spoke with Haley and her mom last week about the contest, and although Haley wasn't the most talkative, she's still in for a great big treat. So Haley received a phone call. She's really shy, so <laughs> they ended up calling me and um, asking for my permission um, for Haley to be a special guest at the White House egg roll. I don't really know the, all the details, but Haley is going to get to meet the president and the first lady. Oh my goodness! While the first lady continues her push for children's health and fitness, the Department of Defense's Healthy Base Initiative and Operation Living Well are programs designed to promote health and fitness for the DOD community. It's being expanded to include what's called the Ultimate Me Challenge. Part of the Healthy Base Initiative is the DOD's health and wellness platform, which is called Ultimate Me. It's very similar to our GAT 2.0, so it's a health assessment um, platform. And what they're trying to do is drive people to this website, get them involved, assess themselves, understand their health and fitness. It's like performance triad with nutrition and sleep and exercise. And in order to do that, they started a competition between installations to see how many people would go to the website and sign up and take this personal health assessment. In other news, just a couple of quick reminders before we close. Earth Day 2015 is coming up. Fort Meade's observance is scheduled for Wednesday, April 22nd from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the pavilion. The event is open to everyone. And as soon as we have a list of exhibitors and activities, we'll get them out to you. Meanwhile, the Freedom is offering DOD civilians, contractors, and retirees the opportunity to eat lunch there Monday through Friday. Those eligible can eat from 12.15 to 12.45. This is being conducted on a trial basis through the end of April. If you have any questions, you can contact the Freedom Inn at 301-677-9350. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead Week.